Hi everybody, Chris from Dixie Repair Farm. So, yeah, the dishwasher broke. The truck also broke the uh, through a rod, so I have to replace the engine. It's been a month. They still haven't got the engine in. Man, it's just one thing after another. So, oh, what a bummer that the uh, dishwasher is uh, broken. But luckily it is an easy repair, so let's take a look at it real quick. Can you see the issue? No, it's the heating element. It's actually not attached here. Not only that, it broke right here at... Uh, the relief section, you know, different metals of different types can't touch each other, otherwise, otherwise they corrode. Now stainless steel is an exception, but I don't know. It may be just chance, maybe vibration there, or it just happened, I don't know. But one of the things that has been happening is, you see this kind of white residue on the dishes, and uh, a little greasy? So we have hard water, but... Um, that's also probably indicative that the water was not hot enough. The water has to be like 140 degrees, so that heating element was broken. That would explain why the dishes have not been getting completely clean. I mean, they're clean enough. You just wipe that away. It's not really, you know, an issue because it's just soap residue, but still gross, right? Chris, I couldn't even attempt to do it. Of course you can. It's just, see, it's just two screws and two wires. The real trick is taking the unit out of the uh, space. You could probably get your hands in, but there's a chance you'd disconnect something, so it's not worth the, the risk. So it's easier just to pull out the machine to get access to the back where the thing screws in. Chris, I couldn't imagine how to get it out. Well, of course you can. It's just one screw right here, and then the, the whole unit should pop out. But you do have to disconnect the water and the drain line. So right here is where the water is, and that's where the shutoff valve is. And the drain line comes right there. So it's probably enough slack to me not even do that but I'll at least shut off the water here for a second and I'll check for tugging that way if I don't have to I'm not going to. I think he had enough play for me to be able to pull out the unit so I should be able to just get underneath there. So right here that's where the power is this is where the nut is and also it's hand tight so I don't even actually need a tool to get it off just undo the wire So you just kind of out. Because I didn't have a helper to hold down the thing as I screwed it in, I just used a two pound weight. Turn the water back on. Can look at that corrosion. May have not been working for a long time. So I know, not super excited content. And I'm sorry for that. Uh, it's just been, you know, real busy. I've been in physical therapy. Marissa's been in physical therapy. My mom died in Thanksgiving. And then uh, before that, she was in long-term care with dementia. Before that was getting Medicaid, getting her placed in long-term care. And then she had a lot of health issues going back and forth to the hospital when she was there. And before that, there was stuff with a truck and this and that. It's just nonstop stuff so I haven't been able to make a, a lot of uh, vinyl or music related videos I've been editing and posting the Disney videos to kind of keep my mind off things but um, you know that's not the same as new content really uh, most of you don't watch the Disney stuff anyway I've got some hardcore fans who do which is great but it's not for everybody so yeah I'll be making more content hopefully in the new year but we've got Christmas here matter of fact the Christmas tree we have one one ornament on it that's that's all we could do all the energy we had was one ornament uh, so <sighs> I'm just gonna check for leaks and then this thing should be done and you know the clue the tip off was I was noticing some mold was forming on the door so it probably just wasn't drying in there so mold was forming and I would run bleach through the thing I'd run white vinegar I'd run dishwashing cleaning tabs and you know I just thought there was just solid fat in the line or clogged or something and I would clean out the trap and all that but it was because the water was not getting hot enough. I think I have to test this with a, with a real wash. So I'm gonna run it just through the hour cleaning cycle here, check for leaks, and then I'm done. Should be good to go. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Take care, everybody.